Yay, I leveled up. Hold B to open up perk chart. All right, well, that was actually pretty cool. Um, finally, we found the Brotherhood of Steel. It's pretty neat. Okay, there's a lot of stuff we're skipping out on here. Um, Iron Fist requires end one per one. Uh, okay, so Iron Fist bands let Vault Tech guide you to your path closest quest target. It's playing in bad spot. Channel the spirit of the old west. Non automatic pistols do 20% more damage. Fortune finder, you've learned to discover wasteland's hidden wealth and find more bottle caps and containers. Hmm. Swinging for the fences do 20% more melee damage. Lead belly. Digest tract has adjusted the weirdness of the wasteland. Take less radiation from eating or drinking. That wouldn't be bad at this point, actually. Um, your charming and dangerous women suffer plus 5% damage in combat on an easier persuade and dialogue. That wouldn't be bad either. There's a lot of good things in here. Stim packs restore 40% of lost health and rad away removes 40% of radiation. That seems like a very valuable one, actually. Let me grab that. Confirm! They're all animated. Aren't they so cute? Alright, um... We should probably head inside, then. Into the Cambridge Police Station. See what we got going on inside here. I'm curious. When it loads. Alright, we're in. Call to arms. I just look at the wall and then walk away. Well, your water cooler's broken, I can tell you that. Can I just grab this shit? Apparently I can. Well, thank you, people, for letting me just raid your shit. I can just straight up take this, eh? Even your dirty ashtray. Alright. I like this place. I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. Sounds about right. You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Yeah. Ooh, look at those sunglasses. Patrolman sunglasses? Cigar box! What the hell? A cigar. Oh, there's a lighter there, too. Flip lighter. No way I could pick this. <laughs> Shut up. You'll do what I tell you to do. what I just pick up that I was freaking out about? Not the cigars. I can't believe I forgot about it instantly. Oh, the sunglasses. Jesus. <sighs> they don't do shit, but they'll look cool. I hit the wrong button. Look at that. What a badass. Danzathan is looking very strange. I would like an actual outfit, please, if you guys have one. Because I look like a jackass currently. Squirrel bits. Man, this is really neat. I like the I like the looting system now. It's a lot it's a lot different, but I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to make sure wait, motor what now? Motor pool. Is there driving in this game? Like this game just kinda came out of nowhere, man. Ah, fucking handcuffs. More ammo. More jet. Military fatigues. More patrolman sunglasses, handcuffs. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm taking everything of yours, by the way, people. Just letting you know. Antifreeze. Seems like might be worth it to grab onto. <laughs> I'm the new guy helping. Military fatigues. There we go, that looks a lot better. <laughs> what a badass. He looks like an idiot. Oh wait, no, hold on. Here we go. What do his glasses look like? Alright. So there he is, and here I am. That's all the posing I do today. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright. Well, at least we have the military fatigues. We don't look like complete assholes anymore. We just look like unintentional assholes. Is that all the stuff I really was here to grab? Uh, can I steal any more of you guys' shit? 
Nope, didn't mean to take that. We'll take the pre-war money though. Is it because there's no karma to steal or? Oh, you're on your full on garb up. I'm still not done suiting up, so. Gladius personal terminal? Man, oh man. Man, oh man. Recon squad gladius orders. Proceed to the area designated Commonwealth to perform a standard long range recon operation. Report any unusual activity using standard long range communications to scabbard extraction time undetermined palette and dance. Alright. That's a lot of logs, Paladin Dan's. I don't know about you and all this talking. After several months, my squad has just crossed the border and entered the Commonwealth. We chose to immediately research the Boston or search the Boston region with the intention of finding a secure building to use as our recon headquarters. Soon after my squad was ambushed by raiders, Knight Keen's power armor was destroyed and we lost some of our supplies. Fortunately, we were able to repel attack and continue our mission. Well, you know, you try. We discovered a secure building in Cambridge that appears to be a former police station. We were able to clear the building and recover a good deal of supplies and ammunition from pre-war caches inside. According to Scribe Halen, this location is structurally sound and highly defensible. I have decided to establish our headquarters here for the time being. After Halen identified the Corvega factory in Lexington as a possible site containing viable pre-war technology, we initiated a sweep and retrieve operation. I had Dawes do a site survey and he discovered it was being held by a large force of raiders. Yeah, I know, I got fucked by them. I gave the go-ahead and we attempted to breach, or a breach. As we approached, we, our squad was hit with gunfire, Knight Warwick, Warwick um, was wounded. So I decided to fall back to Cambridge during our retreat night Brock stepped on a landmine Good job scribe Halen attempted to treat him but Brock succumbed to his wounds and died Let it be noted for the record that Halen is to be commended for her efforts. That's okay uh, It's been two days since our failed operation on Corvega, and I'm sorry uh, sad to report the night Warwick has died his gunshot wounds War Warwick. I, I know how to say Warwick. I'm just not saying it right when I'm reading it quick. Um, his gunshot wounds have left him paralyzed and internally bleeding. That fucking sucks. Scribe Halen informed me that he was suffering and had less than 5% chance of recovery. I authorized her to inject him with an overdose of painkiller and put him to rest. I'd once again like to commend Scribe Halen for her efforts in keeping Warwick alive and for following my final orders without question. That... That got a little dark. We sustained another casualty today, today at the grid. F reference A113. That's in itself a reference. Um, uh, this area contains the ruins of Boston International Airport and Fort Strong. The airport was almost completely abandoned, but Fort Strong turned out to be infested by super mutants who were hoping to resupply at the armory there. But Knight Sergeant Dawes was killed. This is the second location I've, I've had to order a retreat from since we arrived and the third member of my team to die. I recommend a complete bombardment of this location in the future. Oh, jeez. Fucking infested with super mutants. This is good. Scribe Halen has been... Uh, has been picking up an unusual, uh, picking up unusual readings on her instruments. She claims that they are uh, on an extreme high band frequency, spectrum frequency, which makes it highly unlikely to be pre-war in origin. The readings are also highly sporadic and only, uh, only appearing for very short amounts of time and in very specific locations. The decay on these signals is severe and they seem to disappear off Halen's instruments after several hours. We don't have the reading or equipment necessary to track these readings, so we're attempting to use triangulation to discover their point of origin. Well, good luck with that. And last but not least, we've been attempting to contract Scabbard with the energy reading Halen has collected, but the police station's high gain antenna was damaged by a super mutant rocket attack and we can't transmit the data. Halen is attempting to repair the antenna, but she isn't certain. Uh, that we have the parts we need at this time. Well, it seems like that's what you're gonna be using me for probably Personnel status uh, Warwick's dead deceased All right you know, you... That was a hell of a fight, wasn't it? Yeah, man. All right, uh Has ever told you that you're a bloodthirsty maniac milk vending machine with the Has anyone ever told you that you have the cutest little smile when you try to get angry? Mm. Let's try race Nice try. This goes up high. This goes up outside, right? Yeah, Cambridge. Yeah, I figured that was going outside. Let's see what we're working with here. Let's see what kind of view they got on top out here. <laughs> on the roof of the police station. Oh, shit. 
What have we got up here? Anything good or is it just the view? Seems to be just the view. There's a flag. Damn Brotherhood of Steel. Man, that gun's pretty neat. I like that gun. Um, somebody else up here? Oh. So we got the helicopter pad. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a bad place and they fortified it pretty well. It's just kind of... Uh, inopportune that ferals were nearby. Alright, let's go talk to Paladin Dance. Paladin Dance! So clenny, so... So clenny. So funny, so close to Dan's. Fucking brother Dan's. Fucking holes in the floor. That's all boarded up. Alright. It was literally just to go up. Sorry about the other guy. Eh, it's alright. I'm not too worried. Hot plate. Nothing else really great, apparently. Scribe Halen's personal log. Let's play that shit. I'm gonna take it right off the disc. Field Scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. Mm. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods? Leave a lot to be desired. Yeah. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Mm -hmm. True that. All right, dance. Come in and dance. You ready to move out? Uh, why the police station? Why establish an outpost at the police station? He looks Given like an idiot. Given the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. Mm -hmm. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the Capital Wasteland, <laughs> but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? Uh, I think I'm ready. I'm ready as I'll ever ready? be. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. I'll try not to, but you know, you're all buffed up. Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin dances waiting for you. Shut the fuck up. I'm following him, you asshole. Paladin dance has supper you to do. I'm fucking following him, dickhead. I'm the head of the Thieves Guild in Skyrim, okay? <laughs> Uh, fucking Dark Brotherhood, you remember them? No, you don't, because that's a different universe. Oh, there's more shit over here. Hold on one, one second. We'll take this out. Follow me. Well, at least the 10 mil is... I've got more bullets for that. Is, is this gonna be fucked if I pick, like, any other, uh... Okay. Is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Oh, great. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. Yeah. Getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. Okay. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. All right. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. Okay. So it's our job to investigate. Understandably. Oh, I'm following you, guy. What the fuck's happening down there? What the hell? Those aren't feral. Those can't be raiders, either. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, well, they are raiders. Fuck, no, there's no way. Critical. Fucking die, dickhead. Go, Paladin Dance. Oh, shit. You wanna go? We'll go. Oh! Watch. Oh, they're dead now. There, oh, yeah. I need to take your shit. So. You know. I. No, I didn't mean to do that. 
Apparently that's better than what I have. So the stuff with pluses is better than what I have currently, I guess. Right? Seems to be what the the shtick is there. Which is silver plate worth not much. Oh yeah, the rat away. Yeah. I'm trying to listen to you, but you're really far off, guy. I don't to go Shut up! I don't intend to go home without blah 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 blah. Um. Seems like I had some better stuff. So that's better. Yeah, I like I like the system now that you can see what's better and what's not better. You know, that's better damage resistance. Yeah, okay. I like this system. It's actually pretty neat. Uh, it's really neat, like, little... That damn sack hood. I don't want a sack hood. But I did just pick up a... I picked up something with goggles. Gas mask with goggles. I mean, it's on par with the gas mask I already have. So that works. Um, nice. I like it. I like that a lot. That's a neat little... Uh, system. All right, so I haven't used any Molotovs yet. Probably should. I just picked this up. Bayoneted light pipe pistol. It's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Let me make that my. Uh, yeah, switch that there. Fire rate's a lot better. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Something like this. And it has a bayonet, so I can... Stabby, stabby! Nice. Alright. Let's get going. It's okay if the thing was lost. They were what I was looking for anyway, so... This is... I'm telling you, man. This is why I played Fallout 3 for... For... Months. <laughs> Just cause, like, holy shit. I, I wanted to be excited for Fallout 4, and in the end, I'm fucking... I am in heaven. This is so much better of an experience. I don't think <coughs> You're fine. Fuck is all that splashing? Jesus. Hold up. I think we're being Jesus. Goddamn bloat flies. I almost drank from that water. I have right away now, so I might as well use it. Didn't think about that for a second. Let's use some right away. And then drink some purified water. There we go. Nice. Cool. Much better situation health wise. I think if we get a base of operations in a house, I think we'll be a lot better. I like how he's like, shh, they're right in front of you, you dumbass. That dog's fucking done. Oh, Dan's a thing, taking heads off wild mongrels. Fuck off. Puppy, 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 puppy. Fucking puppy. Kidding me? Sorry about your legs. Go! Dance thins the man. Ew! The way that thing that ragdolled right there. What the fuck? Uh, I'm over encumbered. This is what happens. I'm taking all the mongrel meat. Fuck you. I'm doing it and you can't stop me, game. Alright. Okay, so I'm I should be goodish fallen health at this point. Um want something heavy that I can get rid of then. Um I do have a lot of extra shit. Um that's for sure. 
They're not that valuable for me hanging on to them, for having so many of them. So let's drop the excess here. That'll open up some avenues. That's relatively valuable. Um, I don't need long johns. They're not going to be worth shit by the time, you know, I end up selling them or whatever, so. I'm good for now. I, I dropped enough. We'll hang on to what we can hang on to.